we enjoy it. I mean, it's a big win for us. Some things we could have did better down the stretch, but um, we definitely enjoy it. You know, being up 3-0 um, is a great position to be in. And we know they're going to come out just like they did last night in that fourth quarter, you know, trying to play to start the game that way. So we got to be prepared for that. Early in his career, LeBron wasn't considered to be a good closer or the guy you wanted to take the last second shot. Is that it's hard to comprehend at this point? Yes, it is. <laughs> You've obviously played with another great one. What similarities, or if any, do you see in those two players at that end of game in those situations? With Kobe or Jordan? Kobe. Oh, um, you know, I just. They want the ball, and you know they're always able to will their team to a win, to a victory. Whether it's making the right pass or play, or making the big shot. So, um, just their will to win and making everybody better is just the same. You know the similarities I see in those guys. You talked a little bit last night, right afterwards, about the fourth quarter lead and and how it got away. Now that you've had time to digest it, watch it, what what happened? Um, you know, I think Kyle got going. I think Kyle got going, made some open shots. A couple of times we didn't switch. Uh, we didn't talk our switches. And then a few times just switching Kevin onto him, we wanted, to, we wanted that switch, and he took advantage of that matchup. So you're not going to, you know, hold every lead. They're a good team, number one in the East, so they're going to score the basketball. And he had some tricky lines on the floor at times. So, um, no, I mean, it's good to build a lead instead of being behind all the time, so I'll take that. It's a short chill return for you. How does he play for you? It's part of the fact that you guys have not turned the ball over very much in those first four games, partially attributed to what he's doing. Yeah, I think we get the extra ball handling on the floor. I think um, for him to be able to release some of the pressure from Braun for some, you know bringing the ball to court. And also, I think just defensively, you know, he's, he's a, a guy who can guard a few positions, you know, defensively. And um, just that extra ball handling when they're trying to pressure us is really the most important thing. And him being able to attack downhill, getting into the paint, finishing at the basket is huge for us. After the game, Dwayne said that he thought um, they got what they wanted out of their lineup switch. They thought that playing Fred um, mitigated JR some and also took some of the um, bite out of Tristan by staggering Ibaka. Did, do you think that was effective, or how did you feel that that yeah, was effective? I think because what it did, it, it kind of mixed our first and second unit, you know, because we had been doing a good job with um, LeBron playing with, with our second unit, and we kind of just, um, you know, kind of you know played them played, played them evenly as far as that second unit goes. So I think starting some of the second unit guys and then mixing up the rotations kind of was funky for us. So, um, um, but we'll be prepared for it next time. Who of those four do you like the most when they're, I mean, you switch between LeBron and Kevin playing with, you know, Jeff, Tristan.